Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Galatians chapter 1 verse 11. I want you to know brothers that the gospel I preach is not something that man made up. Yes, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is not something that man concocted or made up. It is not a story that made up by man. No, this the apostle Paul was saying was the revelation of Jesus Christ himself. So the Lord Jesus Christ revealed this to the Apostle Paul. And so with the whole of scripture, friends, that's why we are told that all scripture is God-breathed and it is profitable for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness because this is from God. And therefore, friends, every time that you hear the gospel preached, believe that this is the word of God and the word of God is not for just anybody, but for you personally. Because we know, friends, that God speaks to us through his words. And therefore, when you are praying and say, Lord, speak to me. Well, friends, the next thing that you've got to do is go to your Bible and listen to what the Lord is telling you. Because you are asking the Lord, Lord, speak to me. Amen. And therefore, if you know that this is a revelation from Jesus Christ himself then you will take this to heart and you just don't take it as if this is just a word of man then it becomes powerful effective in your own personal life because now you are absorbing absorbing the message of the Lord himself so whenever we come together now friends and listen even to the voice of the Lord listen to the verse that is being read and receive a revelation and what i do friends is just to expound it a bit it's like a getting some meat out of it and sharing with you but you yourself can go back to the same verse and receive a message from the lord amen just like today now the verse that we have is this that it is not man made up or it is not something that came from men then what will you do respond as if jesus himself is talking to you because it's not a word of man but a word of god himself and so today may the lord continue to inspire you to come to know him more through his word hallelujah always believing that the message that we're hearing is not from man but from the lord himself and it would be very beneficial, friends, if we take that attitude. Because we know that, uh, again, this is the truth of the gospel. And the truth of the gospel will set us free. So, as you read your, the word, as you read your Bible, believe that Jesus is speaking to you now. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace, his shalom. God bless. See you again next time.